Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. In this video, I will be showing you how I gave this beautiful piece an updated look to match my home. So for starters, we gave it a really good clean down. This is an old piece. Um, it was really, really dusty, so we had to clean it thoroughly. So using Waverly White chalk paint, I started to paint the back of it. However, I was not liking how it turned out. I didn't like the brush strokes and I think it was going to take multiple coats in order for me to get it to how I wanted it to look. So once I realized that I was not going to like how this looked, I took a quick trip to Lowe's and picked up some adhesive vinyl planks in the four inch by 36 inches. They were fairly cheap, 98 cents a plank. Um, and I got 20 of them and ended up only using 18. So these planks are absolutely amazing. They're really easy to work with and flexible. As you can see here, I'm just placing them how I want them to look. I want them to have that like staggered kind of look. So I started in the center and worked my way out. I did have to cut down pieces, but this is very easy to cut down and you'll see later in the video how easy it is to cut it down. For the type of vinyl I'm using and paint I used, please make sure you check out the description box below. So to cut these down, I flipped them over and measured it to the size that I needed it. I used a pin to mark it off and a straight edge. I had a ruler on hand, so I used a ruler to go straight across. Um, I used a large pair of scissors. However, you can use a box cutter just to score it and it breaks, it snaps right in half. So it took me about 25 to 30 minutes to get all of the vinyl stuck to the back of the china cabinet. 
Once I got it completely on the back, I stood it up so I can. it's easier for me to paint it. Now I'm using white Waverly chalk paint. I do dip my brush in water just to make it a little bit more liquid. Chalk paint can be a little um, pasty at times. And I'm using a round brush that I will have in the description box below if you're interested in purchasing a round brush. I just think it gets all the details a little bit better. I ended up having to leave the hardware on and I just painted over it a little bit. It was so hard to get off. There's like not a screw in there. I think just because it's old. So I just left it there and I'll probably go into Hobby Lobby at some point and get some really nice handles to add to this. But I could not get that hardware off. I just did one coat of chalk paint for the entire top piece. So it's completely painted, we brought it inside. It looks a little dark here. However, later in the video, you'll see what it looks like during the day. I absolutely love how it turned out. So this was my grandma's china cabinet. So I decided to add some items that were hers as well, mixed with some items that are mine. And the teacups are hers, the tea plates are hers. Um, the cake stands belong to myself and we just added them in there and I think it turned out really, really well. I love how the dark planks um, accent really well against the white and it also matches my kitchen. I can't wait to use these adhesive vinyl planks for another project. Please make sure you guys hit the subscribe button if you're interested in more DIYs, home decor, and family videos. Also hit the notifications bell so you can be notified every time I upload a video.